वेलकम टू अवर चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर लाइकिंग अवर कंटेंट सो फार प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब अस टूडेज कंपनी इज ग्लूकॉन टेक्नोलॉजी process and workflow for blue coins technology is as follows the profile that was offered was trainee software engineer with a ctc of 6 lakhs per annum the online test consisted of two sections of and the duration was for 2 hours the first one was the aptitude and the technical uh, section which consisted of 60 questions in 60 minutes and the second section was of the coding section and it had two questions in 60 minutes the next round was the gd round and the duration for this round as well was 60 minutes next up is the interview round which had three uh, rounds again first one was the technical first uh, technical one the second round was uh, the technical round 2 which was taken by the manager and uh, the third round is the usual hr interviews hi guys our guest for today has arrived and uh, anuj if you could please introduce yourself once Yeah. So uh, I'm Manoj Kakre. I'm currently doing my final year uh, B Tech Computer Science Engineering at MIT Pune, uh, MIT WPU, and I've secured a placement in Blue Coins Technologies. Firstly, congratulate to you for cracking the placement for Blue Coins Technology. I hope we were able to help many more students do this too with the help of your insights. So not wasting any more time, let's jump onto the questionnaire. Okay, so uh, Anuj, if you can please uh, share the details for the whole process, like right from the application to the final round. Yeah, so uh, in our college, we have this uh, online portal where you apply for colleges. It's called CalexPod. So there, you have to submit your resume and register for the upcoming companies which are coming to your campus. And accordingly, uh, like once your uh, resume is shortlisted. you have been you have been uh, sent a link uh, for the test and there is a there is a aptitude test which consists of math uh, basic quant and then we we have uh, two co- uh, coding rounds uh, in the same test and you are given about uh, an hour half an hour matlab uh, one and a half hour to complete the whole test How many questions were there? Ah, uh, there were around sixty questions and sixty uh, uh, like complete questions, where you had ah uh, uh, like quant questions and ah uh, DBMS questions and also ah uh, computer networks related question. Ah, uh, basically all the core subjects you have in your computer science engineering, and ah uh, uh, like the last two questions were ah uh, coding questions. and after that uh, after this uh, like round once you qualify this round you are been called to a group discussion round where there are six people and you have been given a topic basically on which you have to speak for a minute or so you are being given 15 seconds to prepare and it is spontaneous so once they give you a topic you have to prepare within 15 seconds and speak and then speak for a minute just like uh, the tofl exam uh, so yeah so and uh, after that um, after you qualify through the gd then you have your first technical interview uh, which goes for around uh, 45 minutes and uh, 45 to 55 minutes around that time and uh, after that you have your second technical round which is the managerial round there uh, you have been uh, asked about different questions again this is a kind of a technical round uh and uh, uh which lasted for around uh, 25 to 30 minutes not much and once you qualify that uh, you have uh, you are been called to the hr round which is uh, like uh, quite uh, easier as compared to the te- technical one yeah so the gd round in the gd round it was approximately for an hour and it consisted it consisted of two parts so the they first uh, told us about what the gd round consists of and how it is going to go about and uh, the total there were there was a total of uh, eight students in each uh, like in each uh, gd section so uh, you were being in the first part you were being you are being given a topic uh, like a spontaneous topic uh, on which you have to speak for uh, about 45 seconds to a minute and you are being given 15 seconds to prepare over it and in the second part 
uh, it's a like it's a, like a common group discussion where the whole group is given a topic and you have to put your points in front of everyone and also argue and uh, dis uh, disagree with why uh, uh, and also say like why do you think your point is correct and the other's point is wrong and also uh, like agree with other's point and you should specify each and every uh, reason why you are saying it so that is a major point uh, which might help you to get through this round uh also uh, if you can provide a little more details about the technical uh, rounds that you uh, like uh, mentioned yeah my personal technical round it lasted for 55 minutes so there i was been given a uh, like uh, the first question i was been asked so there you have been asked about uh, core uh, like computer science subjects so uh, the first question which uh, the interviewer asked me was like uh, do you know about the oops concepts so this was quite a easy question so everyone knows about what oops is and so i i just uh, like quickly answered his question and then the second question was uh, quite different from the first one it was like uh, do you know about data structures so i said yes and then um, uh, the whole uh, like uh, the he opened the whole book of data structures so there he asked me about uh like uh, what uh, what uh, uh, like what is a linked list so that was quite a easy one and then uh, the next question was uh, open your notepad and uh, he, i was been asked to share my screen and write a code told to find uh, whether there is a loop in a linked list so if you have uh, if you guys have solved um, uh, competitive coding questions you might have come across this this is quite a common question so i was able to solve it because i had been through this question earlier so uh, but i didn't solve it uh, spontaneously i showed that i was working over it and then i got through it and then uh, the interview uh, interviewer was happy and the second question he asked me that uh, like uh, what is the time complexity and uh, like uh, and the space complexity of the algorithm i had written so you have to uh, like get answer, you have to uh, like uh, have uh, in depth knowledge of what you are uh, presenting over there so you shouldn't uh, like uh, flatter about wrong things and also the second and then he asked me about uh, what uh, uh, what are the different graph traversals i know so uh, i uh, i told him bfs dfs and then as i as i just uh, as i was speaking he asked me to code both of these like uh, again uh, these were like uh, uh like spontaneous so i couldn't uh, i was not supposed to wait i was just uh, like i was been told to code immediately so uh, that's what so bfs breadth first traversal and uh, depth first traversal and then uh, after coding this properly he asked me about searching algorithms uh, searching and sorting algorithms so there i uh, i spoke about binary search and the second sorting algorithms i uh, told him about all the sorting algorithms and he asked me to code quick sort algorithm so that was again a uh, quite like i i had revised it uh, quite a uh, time earlier so i knew what um, what i was doing so i uh, got through it and then uh, he asked me uh, several questions over the computer networks and operating systems about deadlock and, and then he asked me about dbms concepts like normalization and uh, how to to normalize uh, different normal forms of a, a like uh, a table and yeah that's so i guess he covered all the basic round, long round. basic subjects anyway. yeah so after the first round there was the second technical round where, which was a managerial round so uh, it the, she the manager who interviewed me uh, she asked me quite a similar question she asked me about oops and uh, an example each uh, like uh, an example about each of the concepts of oops and that was all of it so it lasted for our 30 minutes and then uh, after the qualifying this round was the uh, uh hr round so you are in the hr round uh, it was quite similar as what hr rounds are like so basically she asked me about myself my family and what i want to do what are my short term goals what are my long term goals and yeah quite uh, like you can see uh, there are a lot of there is a lot of information available over the net too so to go through what hr rounds are like 
So Anuj, any tips for juniors or the people who are applying for Blue Conch? Um, yeah, just general tips like uh, you should go through all the. Personally, I had made a a, a bunch of you uh, had uh, aggregated a bunch of YouTube links and uh, which had YouTube, uh, which had uh, which were playlists. So I had aggregated them. Uh, you can find them in the description box below. And yeah, nothing much. Uh, just uh, be thorough with your uh, algorithms and data structures, and yeah, that's all of it. Hacker Angle and Lead Code will help you uh, if you start doing it. from uh, a month before or two months that'll do okay then guys it's a wrap for today uh, thank you so much anush for coming and sharing your inputs with us i hope that it helps a lot of people and uh, we'd like to congratulate you once again and uh, we wish you all the very best for your future thank you thank you guys video pasand aaya hoga to zarur like karo we are trying our best to be a regular and cover as many as companies as possible like share and subscribe bye 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 bye